Today's Africa is much better than 19 years ago when we started Alibaba. People was such a terrible speed at that time of using internet. You know, when I started my business 1994 for the internet, I invite a lot of people say Jack is telling a lie. There is no such thing called internet. <laughs> I went to register my company, and、uh, in the company registering office, people say, "What kind of a company you want to do?" I said. Hanzo Internet Consulting Company. He said, "Internet? There is no such word in the dictionary. <laughs> They cannot <clears throat> register the company." And in China was not connected to the internet the day when I registered my company. Three months later, China was connected to the internet. So, in order to prove that I was not a liar, I invited TV people came to my room. We waited three hours and a half to download the first front page. <laughs> <laughs> And that was true, right? <clears throat> and this is say, and, and at that time nobody believed internet, nobody believed e-commerce, nobody believed China would have e-commerce. No logistic, no credit cards. The same question people quest asking you now: How can Africa have internet companies? How can you do e-commerce? You don't have a credit card. You don't have a logistic. You don't have government support. You don't have everything. That's the opportunity. As an entrepreneur, we never complain. We make other people complain. <laughs> we make our competitors complain. We never cry because if cry can solve the problems, can solve no problem. We make competitors cry. We make those people who do not believe our dreams cry. In my apartment, where we started, eighteen founders, and we aim high. We have a dream. We say we want to make. Become the top ten internet companies or websites in the world, guys. At that time, we are ranking several million name, <laughs> but we want to be number ten or the top ten of the world. We want to make this company last 102 years, and we don't know where's our pay next month. Well, when you are poor, if you have dreams, you never feel poor. You know what we are doing, so. After we never say we will be, we will win next year or we win tomorrow. We say we will win in ten, twenty years. Nineteen years passed. Today we are the top ten websites, com- internet companies in the world. <laughs> right? <clears throat> And nineteen years passed. Nineteen years passed. Today we never think, we never expect that Alibaba. Business Alibaba companies just e-commerce without Ali and financing. Alibaba e-commerce our market cap is 500 billion U.S. dollars. So think about. Tell me, 19 years ago, anybody can say a company in China can be the top 10 internet companies in the world? Or 10 years ago, 20 years ago, anybody can believe a company in Asia could be the top 10 global tech companies in the world? So people here believe in Africa. In ten, twenty years, you will have at least ten, twenty F Alibaba companies. Because if you don't dream, if you don't start to work, this thing will never happen. But if you start to do it, you have a chance. If not five hundred billion, fifty billion is okay. Imagine. Africa, two one point two billion people. Most people, young people, right? As I heard from my friend Dr. Kutui, you have got thirteen million young people graduate from university looking for jobs. These are the resources. When Alibaba started to hire people, we could not hire people at all because nobody wanted to join a company strange name Alibaba, right? <laughs> And、uh, work in an apartment. And nobody believe e-commerce and internet, so we hide anybody who can walk. <laughs> we don't care, right? Whether you are master degree or bachelor degree, as long as you believe us, so they join us. We start off from nothing. <laughs> It was true. For the first ten years, was tough. Very difficult days, because we cannot find customers. 
We cannot find a good engineers. We cannot find any, any sort of resources. We, don't have, we cannot get money from the, from the banks. Right? So people say, well, you know, in Africa, we cannot get loans from the, from the banks. Everywhere in the world, banks do not give small business money. <laughs> right? So we start to be very careful for every, every cent we spend. And the day, the, our first IPO year, year 2007, when Alibaba IPO'd in Hong Kong, year 2007, we had a lot of millionaires in the company. And I asked my, friend, my colleagues, like, we, we have like a 300 people become millionaires. And I asked them, hey, now tell me, you become millionaires because you are smarter than the others? The people said, no, 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 no. We even cannot find jobs. <laughs> right? Because you are hardworking? Yes, we, were hard, we, we, we find more people hardworking than us. But they did not succeed. One of, why they're not smart? All the smart people at that time, they went to Microsoft and IBM. And headhunting companies came to headhunt all the best guys from us. And we are the people, nobody come to head on us. <laughs> we have no place to go. We believe in ourselves. We believe our dream. We work together. So I say, we are the people because nobody wants us. I am the person. Over 30 companies don't want me. Right? So we are the people who get used to be rejected. We are the people get used to be say no from the other people. Why people should help you? People help you, that is unusual. People do not help you, that is very common. <laughs> you should work to earn to be helped. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so, in order to encourage my eight, 17 founders and all the people who joined us, I said, our competitors are very strong. At that time, our competitor was eBay. A lot of the eBay guys from, graduate from Harvard. We are people graduate from, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to even mention about the university names. <laughs> We're nobody. But I say, if we can win, if we can succeed, 80% of the young people in China in the world can be successful. Because we believe, we work, a lot of them have dreams, but they don't work hard. A lot of them work hard, but they don't have dreams. Entrepreneurs should work plus dreams. In this way, we can win.